ahead of today's GOP conference meeting. I spoke with Republican Congressman Andy Barr of Kentucky about that meeting and the state of Israel funding in a speakerless Congress. Congressman Barr, thanks so much for joining us. You've been working to help secure votes for Congressman Steve Scalise. Why do you think he's the best choice to lead House Republicans at this point? Well, Steve Scalise has a proven track record of unifying the conference. And as last week demonstrated, that's what we badly need right now. We need unity. Unity is our advantage in the majority. And division is what will stall the conservative agenda. It will it will stall our efforts to pass conservative appropriations bills. It will stall our efforts to secure the border and conduct oversight over the Biden administration. What Leader Scalise can bring to the table as our next speaker is that he's willing to support Jim Jordan if Jim Jordan gets the most votes on the first ballot. He said so. I think that shows the kind of sacrificial leadership that places the unity of the conference over himself. And that's why I support Steve Scalise. Are you confident he can secure the 218 Republican votes needed? I mean, the party seems to be split between him and Congressman Jordan. Well, we're blessed with two excellent leaders who have stepped forward to serve us as speaker. Uh, Jim Jordan is a great leader himself. Uh, I just believe that at this time, someone with a proven track record, a trusted conservative, someone who knows the members in every faction of our conference is the right man for the job at the right time. And uh, it will be a close uh, first ballot. But my hope is that in either case, whether it's Jim Jordan or Steve Scalise, that the, uh, the, the candidate with the, the fewer votes will step up and endorse uh, the candidate who has earned the majority of the majority so that we can move forward, unify the conference and get on with the business of the country. You voted against the removal of Speaker McCarthy. Is there any scenario at all where you could see Republicans returning to him as Speaker if Scalise or Jordan aren't able to secure enough votes? Well, I don't think so. I think that ship has sailed, and I am a strong uh, supporter of uh, Speaker McCarthy. I say that as someone who, who supported Speaker McCarthy to the very, very end. But at this point, uh, we need someone who's going to bring on those eight members uh, and even the 11 who voted against the motion to table and the 21 who voted against uh, the continuing resolution with border security. We need someone who can bring all of those members to, to support the agenda going forward. Since that vote to remove McCarthy, we've, of course, seen the outbreak of violence by Hamas against Israel. Uh, your colleague, Congressman Mike McCall, says it, quote, projects weakness on the world stage to not have a speaker in place as this unfolds. Could this dysfunction in the House in any way interfere with the ability of the U.S. to support Israel? Well, in the short term, no, because um, we have authorized, Congress has authorized 3.38 billion dollars in security assistance as part of a multi-year memorandum of understanding, $500 million in, in missile defense. And that uh, authority is available to the administration and to Israel to draw down that security assistance. But in the medium and long term, absolutely, we need to get a speaker to uh, advance our national security. And what I would say is that we need to have a searching review and oversight of this administration's policy of sanctions relief. Of, of Iran, because we know Iran has coordinated on these attacks and a reversal of the prior administration's policy of maximum pressure, I think only emboldened uh, Iran to support these uh, terrorist proxies, Hamas, uh, Hezbollah in the north and uh, the Palestinian Islamic uh, Jihad. This unprecedented barbaric attack on innocent civilians uh, that has resulted in the deaths of 14 Americans in addition to a thousand uh, civilian Israelis it just goes to show that we need tough deterrence, not sanctions relief to the patrons of these terrorist organizations. Congressman Andy Barr of Kentucky, our thanks to you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.